The HOT HMV study is the first multi-center, open-label, randomized controlled trial to show that home mechanical ventilation combined with home oxygen therapy can reduce the risk of hospital readmissions or death by 51% within 12 months in severe COPD patients after an acute life-threatening exacerbation of COPD. The study population included severe hypoxic and hypercapnic COPD patients who had been hospitalized for an acute exacerbation of COPD and treated with acute NIV during hospitalization. The patient's condition was evaluated two to four weeks after the resolution of hypercapnic acidosis to ensure that hypoxia and hypercapnia were chronic conditions. 116 patients were randomized into two groups, the HOT group, treated with oxygen therapy, and the HOT HMV group, treated with both oxygen therapy and home mechanical ventilation. Both groups received a median of one liter per minute of oxygen. A high-pressure strategy was adopted in the HOT HMV group. Therapy was initiated at an EPAP of 4 cm of water and an IPAP of 18 cm of water. IPAP was titrated up as tolerated under transcutaneous carbon dioxide monitoring. The median IPAP and EPAP at hospital discharge were 24 and 4 cm of water respectively. The backup rate was 14 breaths per minute. The primary outcome was a combined endpoint of time to hospital readmission for any cause or death within 12 months after randomization. Median time to first event was 1.4 months in the HOT group and 4.3 months in the HOT HMV group, with an adjusted hazard ratio of 0.49. The absolute risk reduction at 12 months was 17% in the HOT HMV group translating to a need to treat six patients to avoid one hospital readmission or death in 12 months. The median exacerbation rate per year was also significantly reduced by one-third in the HOT HMV group. Statistically significant benefits to health-related quality of life were seen for the HOT HMV group at six weeks and at three months. No statistically significant difference was shown over the prolonged follow-up, but overall quality of life was maintained. In addition, median ventilator use was 4.7 hours per night at 6 weeks and increased to 7.6 hours per night at 12 months, suggesting that the therapy was well tolerated despite the high pressures delivered. Additional analysis showed that the pressures applied controlled hyperventilation and hypercapnia effectively. Transcutaneous carbon dioxide level was significantly reduced under HMV therapy and mean PaCO2 was reduced with statistically significant results in the first three months. The HOT HMV study findings add to the growing evidence that home NIV can improve patient outcomes and reduce the burden of COPD on healthcare systems. As explained by Professor Nicholas Hart and Dr Patrick Murphy, who led the HOT HMV trial from St Thomas's Hospital in London, the trial results could potentially change clinical practice and improve the way we manage our sickest COPD patients. ResMed, which co-supported the study, welcomes these results, which shed new light on the role that home NIV can play in improving the outcome for severe COPD patients. Moving the management of COPD forward together.